Hi guys, welcome to a two minute guided box breathing session. If you're here, you're probably trying to de-stress, feel less anxious or feel more focused. If you're interested, stay after the video to hear a little bit more about the background of box breathing and the technique. For now, find somewhere comfortable and quiet and let's get straight into it. Take a couple of normal breaths to level yourself out, wherever you wish. And on the third breath, take a deep breath in through your nose for a count of five seconds. And when you're filled up, gently hold your breath using your diaphragm for five seconds. And exhale for five. And then hold for another five. Back to breathing in for a count of five. And hold again for five. And exhale for five. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Three. Four. Three. Two. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Three, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, three, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, Four, three, two, one. Now as you breathe in your next breath, imagine a simple four-sided shape. And then breaths in, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, Three, two, one. Repeat this as many times as you can. Hi again, guys. Welcome back. Hopefully you're feeling better. Thanks for staying for the explanation. As I said, this technique is called box breathing or square breathing. As you probably saw why, it encompasses mindfulness, breathing techniques, relaxation techniques, and also visualization. As you can see, I'm now very wet. The heavens opened shortly after we filmed that and I had to sprint back to get some shelter so I didn't ruin everything. And yeah, well, I've got to carry on regardless, haven't I? Got some new hairstyle though. So how does it all work? Well, our breath has been shown to be closely linked to certain parts of our central nervous system. When we can control it and master it, we have the ability to then control anxiety, stress, even lower our blood pressure, control our heart rate, and do amazing feats of human control. But simply put, I like car analogies, right? So there's part of our central nervous system called the sympathetic nervous system or the SNS. It's like a physiological accelerator pedal in the car. When you press this accelerator pedal, it stimulates the fight or flight feeling in your body, which prepares you for some sort of perceived threat situation back from when we were hunter gatherers. They're flocking this way. Right, 
consume. Now, it's probably worth mentioning here that not all stress is actually bad. And even a little dose of stress in your life is actually a good thing. If you think of it like, you know, when you go on a roller coaster or when you're climbing something really high, it can be exhilarating and actually really exciting. But unfortunately, long-term chronic stress can be bad for you, your body, and your brain. And your body doesn't really know the difference between this fight or flight mode or whether you've got a bill to pay or your boss is on your case or your children are breaking the house and you need to chuck them out the window. That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Just an example. And our bodies are designed to give us this small dose of stress to invoke this fight or flight or freeze reaction in a situation that we would have faced in the past. Must go faster. So we're hardwired to feel that emotion under stress, but not on a daily um, basis in a regular routine. There's another part of our central nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system. And to continue the car analogy, this is like the brake pedal on your body. And it's responsible for calming your body by decreasing your heart rate, slowing down your breathing, and reducing cortisol or stress levels. The good news is this is the part of the central nervous system that we can have some sort of control of and can be manipulated with breathing techniques like box breathing, uh, meditation, and other things like that. Unfortunately, once you get control on this with your breathing techniques and meditation techniques, the more control you have over the system and the more relaxed you can become. It's worth mentioning again that box breathing isn't a new thing. It's been around for ages and it's just uh, something I've learned but I thought I'd share with you guys. And it's used in many walks of life, including parts of life that you wouldn't really think would use such a meditation technique. And I was surprised to hear that the Navy SEALs use this, even though they have a cool different name for it, something like tactical breathing. And as you can imagine, it's pretty important for a Navy SEAL to remain you know, calm and collected under the high stress or sort of situations that they face. and uncertainty is part of their job. So this fight or flight or freeze um, emotion is obviously quite important for them. Now box breathing or square breathing is like the complete opposite to the sharp, short breathing that you get from say a panic attack. It's um, deep lung filling breathing through the nose and not the mouth. The short and sharp breathing, again, is a natural response of the body to put itself into a fight or flight mode to face danger. Short breathing makes your heart beat faster so you can actually run away from something like a lion or whatever, you know, used to kill us. But we don't always want that sort of panic attack, short, sharp breathing. So consciously, slowly breathing in and out allows us to manipulate a natural response um, of the body and allows us to relax and level out in these situations. Now I found this technique sort of accidentally when I used to do a lot of yoga and yoga links, breathing techniques as well as um, poses, stretches. And I've used it in the past um, on several occasions and one that springs to mind is probably two years ago now nearly to the day when we had our son uh, and halfway through the labor my wife was rushed into surgery uh, in an emergency situation and unfortunately I wasn't able to go into the theater to be there to witness the birth of my son because it was that urgent I was just told to sit and wait in this little room and my wife got rushed away then the unborn son rushed away, which as you can imagine was a quite a stressful situation and frustrating more than anything because I wasn't able to help um, and that made me get very stressed 
and certainly very anxious. And I was just didn't know what to do. I was at a loose end. So I sat down, my hands on my thighs, closed my eyes, and did some very focused, heavy breathing, essentially doing this technique. And after a short while had passed, I get a knock on the door and a nurse comes in with my son. First time I ever meet him, I'll probably try and throw him in a picture of my first reaction with my son. I look quite happy, but I was generally pretty freaked out still. But I managed to stay calm and on a level because of this breathing technique. And the second time I could think I've used this technique was when I had to host a live webinar in front of a few people. So my anxiety was you know, ramping up as we got to the go live time, which isn't what you need when you're public speaking. I just closed my laptop lid gently, sat back comfortably and did four or five rounds of this box breathing technique. And lo and behold, when I roused myself and started the, the webinar, I felt way more comfortable. No stuttering, no stammering, just a bit more chilled. Obviously a bit of nerves. <clears throat> but it definitely helped me get to a good start and once I'm starting I'm fine with things like that because as you know I like to talk a little bit and then recently I've been using this a lot more now any of you guys that have kids or teenagers children of any age you'll be able to relate closely to this. Some days, after a long day, your patience is thin, your fuse is already lit, and it takes the smallest thing for you to blow up. And maybe you just want to swing them around the room by their ankles. Never done that before. And at this point is where you need a timeout. I just take myself away, five minutes, maybe even less, just gone away and done some breathing, just to calm myself out. Because the last thing I want to do is snap at Arthur or be angry in front of him but it's life things get really really stressful sometimes and so this can help you if you're feeling like that just find somewhere comfortable it doesn't have to be a chair or a bed just somewhere a little bit quiet away from whatever's causing you stress yeah, I've even done this in the toilet if you're at work take yourself to another quiet space if you're on a train like I used to be try and just use some noise cancelling headphones do what's best to get yourself out of the heat and do some mindful breathing, like this box breathing technique. And I assure you, you'll feel much better once you be able to control your breath and mindfully disconnect from what's happening. And nine out of 10 times, it does work for me. And I don't want to end up murdering someone. Nine out of 10 times. It's still very wet. But guys, that is all for now. I'm sorry about the uh, grease lightning look, but I wanted to share the box breathing technique with you because I use it a lot, especially now with a toddler running around the house. It's life, you know, things get tough. And if you can control your body using techniques that are proven to work and you master them, it's just something you can keep in your back pocket for future use. So that's all for now, guys. If you found anything useful or you think you can relate, maybe consider giving the video a like. But if not, come back next time and there might be something in that video for you. But for now, stay happy and healthy. Try out your box breathing techniques, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Got a wet ass now as well. I've got ant bites all over my legs. Can you see that? Because I got all parked up and thought it was set up for the video. Sat down, ready to go. What's that biting, stinging my ass and ankles? Sitting on an actual fing ant's nest. Brilliant. That's the level of commitment you get from this guy. Ant bites, hero, what?